Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And we're going to look at how your person is currently feeling about you. So let's see. Keep in mind this is general so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. So we have ex-lover. We have mystery. Romantic feelings and liquid courage. So this person, they still have feelings for you. They may get confident when they drink and reach out. This could be something that is soon to happen. They do, um, they could have a mysterious type of vibe or they're trying to be mysterious by um, not showing up but watching you behind the scenes. Um, and you guys could have broken up. This could be an ex that you have on your mind. But... Leo, there's still feelings there or else there wouldn't be the liquid courage and the romantic feelings. So let's see what's going on here. Leo, we have shot clock shooting the shots. Time is running out, playing games, sound the alarm. It's time to wake somebody up. Playing foul. So there may have been some game playing here in this connection. Take away, loves you for you, material things don't matter, heart over logic, codependency overly attached in your own world. I do feel like you're heavily on this person's mind and they may have messed this up by playing games or not being honest, but they're still like attached here. More to the story, something unknown will be revealed. Something isn't adding up. Read between the lines. Lies, deceit, betrayal, backstabbing. So there is some... I keep seeing this with Leo. Like there's someone talking about um, your relationship or someone stirring something up or telling lies. Let's see. We have differences, physical differences, at odds. Resolving an issue. What, what you think will pull you apart will pull you together. Changes on the horizon, outside opinions don't matter. You see, I keep seeing this with Leo. There's some kind of outside person who is talking about your relationship, getting involved, you know, making things complicated. Let's see. <laughs> the person on Leo's mind, what are the energies between the two? Person on Leo's mind. Could be a Pisces for some of you. They are being mysterious. <laughs> you have the moon. They are also indecisive at the same time. They cannot decide what to do, what to say. They're not about to make a move just yet, or at least they've been thinking about it and not making a move. There's something, um, something mysterious. And I, I still feel like this mysterious situation has something to do with someone on the outside talking. And maybe it's like your person is low key trying to figure out who to believe, or it's you trying to figure out who to believe. And you, a lot of you are feeling rejected in this situation. There hasn't been much movement here. And you may have stopped investing yourself in this connection. Or with someone you find to be suspicious. Mutual energy. I see both of you being on the fence and neither of you put in an effort here. This connection could be very much at a standstill. Almost like you've both kind of given up on it. It's like you both can't get to any type of clear answer from other people. So and maybe you both are too prideful to reach out to each other. It should be you two working together, but there's outside people who tell you what you want to hear or tell anything that's going to benefit them. Tell you what they want to tell you is what I should say. So we have the four of swords in reverse. 
Your person's next move. This is good because it does look like they're coming out of not doing anything. And there's a Wheel of Fortune, which means their next move is going to be very positive. So there's going to be a positive change in the way they approach the situation. Near future energy. Okay. There's a chance for a new start here. Um, this is odd though. We have the tower in reverse, which is about rebuilding a situation. Some of you may be kind of playing hard to get or not really accepting a person's offer until you have the full story. But there really is a chance here, mostly if it's outside influences that ruin this relationship in the first place. But someone is being quite stubborn here, not wanting to accept the offer. I feel like that's only at first because we do have the tower in reverse, which means there's an agreement to rebuild. So it's kind of like someone saying, okay, well, when I have the full story, we can move forward. But until then, it's just baby steps. Ten of cups, ending up happy and fulfilled emotionally. So something good happens here, but it may happen very slowly. And I don't know when. Okay. Um... Speaking of that, let's see. Let's see. Within a month. So within a month, this could unfold. We have a yes. So yeah. What are we in March? Mid-March. We got we got until mid-April. To see a change here. Let me look at their feelings towards you. How is this person feeling about Leo right now? Still on the fence, and I feel like this is both of you like on the fence about what to do about this relationship. You could be dealing with a fellow Leo or a Scorpio. Or a fellow Leo. Got two Leo cards here. We're a Gemini. So we've got the lovers, overall energy. This person is definitely... It's like deep down they acknowledge how they feel about you, but they're still on the fence about something. They do see this as a strong connection. They are viewing you as a six of... Once they may be feeling quite proud of you about something, something that you're doing or you being in the spotlight. They, they seem to see this and be proud. However, they do fear having some type of trauma triggered or fear triggered, pain triggered. They don't want to be in this. They may have been in this state for a while in the recent past and they don't want to go back there because this is in the position of their fears. They want to kind of learn their lessons and heal their traumas you know they want to do the work they don't want to be back at square one so this could be why they're taking time we have death card in the center so this this person is definitely going through transformation here and i do see it because i really see them not wanting to go back to this i see them wanting to go towards the stronger and the healed version of themselves They don't want to repeat a lesson. They want to complete a lesson. What's blocking is this delayed new beginning that could happen but hasn't happened. Their next move is a Six of Cups. This means that they do plan on reconciling, reconnecting, revisiting. The Sun in Reverse, position of what you need to know. So in reverse is still positive energy, but them being on the fence and there being like maybe gossip happening and stuff like that. It's like they think positive about the situation, but there's still stuff that are trying to interfere with this. 
and the truth is going to come out with this person i feel like i saw this in the last read because they have this the two of swords in reverse so this is where the blindfold falls off and they start to see the truth they start to see through the smoke so whoever's been lying and spreading stuff this person is gonna start to see the truth this could be why they do show up within a month let's see why the two of wands why is this person feeling the two of wands yeah, they, they have a lot they're still carrying a lot maybe they're still healing still carrying a lot of baggage maybe still going through some unfortunate situations as well they're trying to stay on the right path. They may still be getting triggered by their past. Why the Six of Wands? My head just went blank just now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was just staring into his face. Um, we have the Chariot. They could be a Cancer for some of you. They do see you moving forward in life so you may have bought a car they may be proud of you about that chariot can have something to do with a car there's something that they're proud of you about and they kind of feel like they kind of feel like you haven't moved on from them i feel like they're thinking that or hoping that but let's see why the six of cups okay death card you see ten of swords death this is all about this person trying to heal their pain they their pain may have affected the relationship they're trying to get rid of that first because after this transformation it's like it leads to this reconciliation or at least wanting to or trying to they don't mean that leo is accepting them some of you might but why the two of swords in reverse the sun the ten of cups the justice card okay could be a libra for some of you that you're dealing with again with the sun the sun keeps showing up i feel like there's a lot of love here ten of cups I feel because this outcome is really good like them finding out the truth them finally seeing things clearly it's like they get this breath of fresh air like they're so happy that their lies were not true um, they're, they're so happy that the truth is being revealed that they're seeing through the smoke and they're happy with that outcome so maybe they believe the wrong person or maybe you believe the wrong person the truth comes out and this person's so happy that you finally know the truth that they didn't do anything or didn't do much but let's see what we got here messages for leo what's going on with leo when it comes to love healing family issues you love life benefits as you forgive your parents they're healing a lot of their pain their pain may have caused major major issues in this connection Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. They may have struggled with that self-love because of the damage. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this could be just a matter of time. Again, within a few months. Well, sorry, within a month where this all comes together do you have for leo quality time euphoria deja vu robotic they may have been really they decide to drill right now they may have been going through that whole robotic thing where their traumas have been controlling them making them react you know making them ruin relationships with their behavior but they're they're definitely working through that maybe working on the dopamine to the brain that's healing you know because when you are damaged when you have trauma it's harder for there to be 
euphoria, aka dopamine to the brain. I don't want to go into all of that, but this person's working on it and they may have had their, their traumas affect every relationship over and over again. Same thing, same thing repeating. I feel like they're trying to finally just learn this lesson and put it to rest so they can have a healthy relationship. Not go back to this. So they may, they may drink because with euphoria, you know, you got that woo woo feeling from the alcohol you may hear from them when they do drink but something needs to come out something needs to be revealed some kind of truth and it will it could be a scorpio some of you are dealing with again there's a lot of leo there's gemini there's libra cancer those are the main signs so leo they're drilling as you can hear <laughs> so that's all okay this is what i'm seeing i hope this was helpful for you feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is happening thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one